Hi everyone, this is Graham Peterson from Live365, and in this video we are going to explain the features of Studio 365 Live for Mac-based operating systems. Studio 365 Live is a free software application available to all Live365 broadcasters. By creating a live broadcast with Studio 365 Live, you can share your station, both online and through our mobile applications, to millions of listeners worldwide. So, to begin using Studio 365 Live, you must first log in with your username and password. Once the application has been opened, you may choose to create a live playlist or host a talk show with a microphone that you have connected. To create a live playlist, click the Library button in the bottom right hand corner. This will open up the Music Library window that allows you to search and select the tracks for your playlist. To preview your tracks, click the Preview button and a smaller window will appear. This feature is helpful if you want to double check that you have selected the right song or if you want to listen to make sure that a particular track fits with the rest of your playlist. To add tracks to your playlist, drag and drop them from the Music Library window to the Playlist menu in Studio 365 Live. You may move your tracks up and down by dragging them to the desired location or you can check the shuffle box that puts the tracks in a randomized order. Tracks may be deleted by using the delete key on your keyboard. To begin broadcasting, click the play button and then the broadcast button. To end your broadcast, click the disconnect button. Using a microphone or mixing board with Studio 365 Live is very simple. First, make sure everything is connected properly by checking the settings in the System Preferences. Then, click the Record button, followed by the Broadcast button, to begin your broadcast. When your broadcast is over, click the Disconnect button. I'm Graham Peterson. Thank you for using Live 365, and we hope you come back again soon.